फ्रेंड्स इन चैप्टर टेन मैथ्स इन चैप्टर सेवन मैथ्स वी आर डूइंग कोरियंट ज्योमेट्री एंड इट इज माई डेस्ट लेक्चर नंबर फाइव इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव टेकन सर्टेन एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ एक्सरसाइज नंबर सेवन पॉइंट वन नाउ वी टेक सम मोर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ एक्सरसाइज सेवन पॉइंट वन यू हैव टू नेम द क्वारिलेटर नेम द Quadrilateral. You are given four vertices. A is suppose minus one, minus two. B is one comma zero. C is minus one two. And D minus three comma zero. So these are the four vertices. A, B, C, D. and we want to find out what kind of quadrilateral it is okay let us check what we will use we will just find out all the distances four distances or length of four sides ab square root of minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 the whole square plus minus 2 minus 0 Is again minus two whole square is equal to square root of minus two square is four plus minus two square is four four plus four eight so square root of eight is equal to two root two got it same B C square root of B N C distance formula one minus minus one it is two plus Zero minus two minus two whole square is equal to square root of two square is four minus two square is four is equal to square root of four plus four a is equal to two root two. Now go for c d square root of c and d minus one minus minus three so it is minus one plus three. That is two square plus two minus zero. It is two whole square. Square root of two square is four plus two square is four is equal to square root of four plus four. A is equal to two root two. Now go for A B. The fourth side, A and B. Square root of minus one minus minus three. So it is plus two plus minus two minus zero is minus two whole square. Square root of two square is four minus two square is four. Square root of a is equal to two root two. Got it? So all the four sides A B B C C D A D they are the same length. So if a quadrilateral has all the four sides are equal. then it can be a square or it can be a rhombus what it is for proving square we need to prove take it as a square we know that a b c d if i take it as a square all the four sides are equal and every angle is a right angle and suppose ac is diagonal then for triangle abc ac is the hypotenuse got it so if i Apply Pythagoras principle here, then my statement should be a b square plus b c square is equal to a c square. So first of all, let me find out a c. First and third, minus one minus one, it is minus two whole square plus minus two minus two, it is minus four whole square. Square root of minus two square is plus four. Minus four square is plus sixteen. So it is square root of twenty. I just check it. Number minus one minus minus three. Minus one minus minus one. It is zero. Sorry. Minus one minus minus one is minus one plus one. It is zero square. 
it is minus 2 minus 2 minus 4 square so 0 square is 0 and it is 16 so answer is root 16 and that is equal to 4 got it so now let us go for the left hand side ab square plus bc square ab square is what root 8 square ac bc sorry bc is root 8 again root 8 square so is equal to root 8 square is 8 root 8 square is 8 it is equal to 16 now we go for ac square what is ac 4 4 square is equal to 16 both are equal so ab square plus bc square is equal to ac square is established therefore it is a what do you mean? It is a square because every angle is a right angle. Got it? So all the four sides are equal and angle is right angle, so it is a square. We go for one more. Second is like this point A minus 3 and 5 point B 3 1 point C 0 3 and point D minus 1 minus 4 again the coordinates of the four vertices given you want to check what kind of quadrilateral it is. Okay. So same method. AB is equal to square root minus 3 minus 3 minus 6. Full square plus 5 minus 1. 4. Full square. So this square root of minus 6 square is 36. 4 square is 16. So this square root of 6 and 6, 12, 1 carry. 1 and 1, 2 and 3, 5. 15 means 13, 4 is 15. So 4 root 13. Now BC. B and C. 3 minus 0, 3. Full square. Plus 1 minus 3 is minus 2. Full square. Is equal to square root of 3 square is 9. Plus 2 square is 4. Is equal to square root of 13. Now C. 0 minus minus 1. So 0 plus 1, it is 1. Plus 3 minus minus 4, that is 3 plus 4. And that is equal to 7. Full square. Square root of 1 square is 1. 7 square is 49. Is equal to square root of 50. And that is equal to 25. 2 is 50. So 5 root 2. Now A, the last side. A and B. Minus 3, minus, minus 1. So it is minus 3 plus 1. So it is minus 2 whole square plus 5 minus minus 4. So 5 plus 4, it is 9 whole square. So square root of minus 2 square is 4. 9 square is 81. So square root of 85. Now you can check all the four sides are different. All the lengths are different. So it is no special type of quadrilateral. It is simply a quadrilateral. Is it clear? Fine. Let us move ahead. We take one more kind of question. You have a point P on x axis as the number is on x axis, it is its y is 0. So it is x comma 0. It is lying at the same distance from two points A and B. A is given 2 comma minus 5 and B is given minus 2 comma 9. Then what are the coordinates of this point x we want to find out we know the distance is same so it is ap is equal to pb 
but to avoid the square root, I take the squares only. So a p square is equal to p b square. Got it? So a p square is equal to p b square. A p. So it is x minus two whole square plus zero minus minus five. So it is zero plus five whole square. P b square. X minus minus two whole square, that is x plus two whole square, and zero minus nine, zero minus nine whole square. So therefore, we simplify it. x square minus four x plus four plus five square is twenty five. x square plus four x plus four. Plus nine square is eighty one. Minus nine square is eighty one. X square from here and there gone. Four from here and from here gone. Now you can check. Four x minus four x changes the side. So four x plus four x eight x. So it is twenty five minus eighty one. So is equal to eight x and here. Eleven minus five, six, seven left. Seven minus two, five. Minus fifty-six. So x is equal to minus fifty-six upon eight. So x is equal to eight seven zero fifty-six. So minus seven. So value of x is minus seven. So the coordinates of p is minus seven comma zero. Is it clear? Very easy to understand. We take one question of the same type, but slightly different. Little difference is there. You have to find out why you are given two points p two comma minus three, q ten comma y. And distance p q is given ten. Then what is the value of y you want to find out? Clear? Point p, point q given. Distance between these two points is ten. Then what is the value of y you want to find out? Okay. So again, we know that p uh, q square is equal to two minus ten minus eight whole square plus Minus three minus y whole square. P Q is ten, so ten square is hundred is equal to eight square is sixty four plus minus three square is plus nine minus minus plus three to the six y plus y square. Okay, so it is hundred is equal to nine and four thirteen one carry four six and one seven. Plus six y plus y square. Seven d plus changes the side. So hundred minus seven d. Ten minus three seven. Nine minus seven two. So twenty seven is equal to six y plus y square. Therefore, y square plus six y minus twenty seven is equal to zero. It is degree two polynomial. So you can say you can split the middle term. So for minus twenty seven, what is the splitting formula term? So that difference is plus six. It is nine three zero. So it is y plus nine. Y minus three is equal to zero. Minus nine and plus nine minus three is plus six. And nine three zero twenty seven plus six to minus nine. So y is equal to minus nine, or y is equal to three. So this can be the value of y. Minus nine or three. Okay, so this is very easy to understand. And we take one more question of the exercise. You have to find the relation between x and y. Find relation between. X and Y, such that 
a point P having the coordinate x and y, it is lying at the same distance from two points, say A, 3 comma 6 and second is minus 3 comma 4. Distance is same. Then what is the relation between x and y that you want to find out? Okay? So let us do it. Again I go for a p square is equal to it is point B. So P B square. Okay? Because distance are same. So A P square. X minus 3 full square plus y minus 6 full square is equal to here pv x minus minus 3 x plus 3 whole square plus y minus 4 the whole square simplify it x square minus 6x plus 9 plus y square minus 12y plus 6 6 36 is equal to x square plus 6x plus 9 plus y square minus 8y plus 16. Everywhere I use the expansion formula for a plus b whole square. Okay? Now x square from here, x square from here, they are cancelled. y square from here, y square from here, cancelled. Plus 9 from here, plus 9 from here, they are cancelled. Now see, minus 6x and plus 6x changes the side become minus 6x. So minus 6, minus 6 is minus, I write here, minus 12x. So these two are simplified. Now go for y. Minus 12y, minus 8y changes the side becomes plus 8y. So minus 12 plus 8, minus 4y. So these two also are simplified. Now 36 minus 16 is plus 20 is equal to 0. Now, first of all, I change the sign. So 12x plus 4y minus 20 is equal to 0. Got it? So 4 common, 4 3s are 12, 4 1s are 4, 4 5s are 20 is equal to 0. 0 upon 4 is 0. So it is 3x plus y minus 5 equal to 0. So this is the relation established between x and y. Okay. So I have taken majority of the questions of exercise number 7.1. A few questions I have omitted that is for you to try at your home. So please try them. Write the exercise in your notebook. So it is enough for this exercise. In the next period, we will learn further in this chapter. Thank you very much.